Hey guys, Godslayer here. Before we start the video, I want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps out the channel. Anywho, in today's video we will be going over the war crimes that the KGB committed during the Cold War. I previously made a video about their CIA counterparts war crimes which I'll link in the description. Make sure you make it to the end of the video. There's some insane spy stuff that the KGB did in America. The KGB was a secret police force that was a main security agency for the Soviet Union from 1954 until the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. The agency was a military service governed by army laws and regulations, in the same fashion as the Soviet Army. While most of the KGB archives remain classified, two online documentary sources are available. Its main functions were foreign intelligence, counterintelligence, guarding the state border of the Soviet Union, guarding the leadership of the Soviet government, organization and security of the government communications, as well as combating anti-Soviet activities. The KGB executed four types of espionage, political, economic, military, strategic, and disinformation, affected with what is called active measures. Since a majority of the KGB activities are classified still, we will only be able to go over some of the major events throughout the Cold War. A Time Magazine article in 1983 reported that the KGB was the world's most effective information gathering organization. It operated legal and illegal espionage residency in targeted countries, where a legal resident gathered intelligence while based at a Soviet embassy, and if caught, was protected from prosecution by diplomatic immunity. At best, the compromised spy was either returned to the Soviet Union or was expelled by the government of the target country. The illegal resident spied, unprotected by diplomatic immunity, and worked independently of Soviet diplomatic and trade missions. In its early history, the KGB valued illegal spies more than the legal ones, because illegal spies infiltrated their targets with greater ease. In the mid-1970s, the KGB tried to secretly buy three banks in Northern California to gain access to high-technology secrets. Their efforts were thwarted by the CIA. The banks were the Peninsula National Bank in Burlingham, the First National Bank of Fresno, and the Tahoe National Bank in South Lake Tahoe. These banks had made numerous loans to advanced technology companies and had many of their officers and directors as clients. The KGB used the Moscow Nardi Bank Limited to finance the acquisition and a Singaporean businessman, Amos Da, as a frontman. Recruitment then emphasized mercenary agents, an approach especially successful in scientific and technical espionage. One notable KGB success occurred in 1967 with the walk-in recruitment of U.S. Chief Warrant Officer John Anthony Walker. Over 18 years, Walker enabled Soviet intelligence to decipher some 1 million U.S. Navy messages and track the U.S. Navy. In the late Cold War, the KGB was successful with intelligence coups in the cases of the mercenary walk-in recruits of FBI counter-spy Robert Hansen and the CIA Soviet division officer Aldrich Ames. Their espionage was described by the Department of Justice as possibly the worst intelligence disaster in U.S. history. Robert Hansen is currently serving 15 consecutive life sentences at Florence, a federal supermax prison near Florence, Colorado. Hansen sold thousands of classified documents to the KGB that detailed U.S. strategies in the event of nuclear war, developments in military technologies, and aspects of U.S. counterintelligence program. Both Ames and Hansen accidentally compromised the names of KGB agents working secretly for Russia, some of whom were executed for the betrayal. Hansen also revealed a multi-million dollar eavesdropping tunnel built by the FBI under the Soviet Embassy in Washington, D.C. After Ames' arrest in 1994, some of these intelligence breaches still remain unsolved. Western estimates of KGB manpower have ranged from 490,000 agents in 1973 to 700,000 agents in 1986. There are no published estimates of the KGB budget. This concludes the video. If you aren't already subscribed, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Thank you for watching.